Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to set up CourierGuy's WooCommerce plugin. Before we begin, please make sure that you have visited the link on screen to generate an access key and a secret key for your website. The first step is to create your title. After that, provide your CourierGuy account number. Below this, you will find a drop-down menu. A tax breakdown of the shipping cost will be displayed on the invoice. If you select None, a tax breakdown will not be displayed on the invoice. Shipping costs will be displayed including tax. Next, it is time to input your access key ID. This is generated for integration purposes. Please follow the API key generation steps. Please note, do not use your online portal login. Following this, please place your access key which was generated for integration purposes. If you haven't already done so, follow the API key generation steps. Once again, do not use your online portal login detail. Moving on, let's type in your company name. The next field requires the shop's address. You can head over to Google Maps and copy the exact address from there. Paste your address over here. This is followed by the suburb in which the shop is located. To be more accurate, you can cut and paste the suburb to the next field. Remove any unneeded parts of the address. On from that is the city that the shop is located. You can also cut the postal code and paste it in the shop postal code field. Move on and add their cell phone number. This is so that the company can receive shipment notifications. If you do not want to receive these notifications, you can just add in the landline number. And lastly, you can input their email address. When you click on the Enable Specific Shipping Options box, a menu will appear with various options. These will be displayed at the checkout for the buyer to select. Similar to the previous step, the excluded rates box will also show a menu of rates options. Select the rates that you wish to always be excluded from the available rates on the checkout page. If you wish to include a markup on your shipping costs, please type in the percentage amount here. With the automatically submit collection order checkbox, when ticked, purchases from the store with the Courier Guy shipping method selected will be automatically sent to the Courier Guy as a collection. When unticked, purchases from the store with the Courier Guy shipping method selected will be kept as quotes on our online portal. If you tick the generic Weibull description box, a generic product description will be shown on the Weibull. The price rate override per service dropdown offers you the option to charge your customers a specific fee per specific service regardless of what the courier guy will charge you. Note that this is a shipping fee added to the order and is not affected by the number of products in the order. For example, all buyers who choose Eco as a service will be charged a shipping fee of 1 Rand. You as the account holder will then pay the full shipping amount to TCG. When you want to change the labeling of your services, you can do so in the Label Override Per Service menu. For example, you can change Eco to be displayed as Standard Shipping. Next, you'll provide the parcel flyer size. This is the dimensions of the Courier Guy flyer bag. It is usually 40 by 30 by 18 centimeters.
The medium parcel size is dependent on the dimensions of your medium parcel or box. As is the same with the large parcel size. The custom parcel sizes will go according to the custom dimensions provided. Moving on to the Enable Shipping Insurance checkbox. This will enable the shipping insurance field on the checkout page so buyers can choose if they want to insure their parcels or not. If you enable free shipping, when ticked, you have to fill in the two following fields. The first field is the rates for shipping. This determines the service, for example eco, locks, etc. get submitted to the courier guy when you offer free shipping to your customers. Note, we do not offer free shipping as a service. The store owner will have to pay the courier guy for the amount charged on the submitted service. The second field is the amount for free shipping. This is the cart amount that qualifies for free shipping. If you would like to enable free shipping from product setting, tick the checkbox. This is to offer free shipping on a certain product. If you enable this, a setting tick box will appear on each product at the back end. This allows you to tick which products qualify for free shipping. This also enables free shipping if the product is included in the basket. If you would like, enable WooCommerce logging for the developers for debugging. Below this is the enable method box on checkout option. When enabled, customers will get a courier my order or local pickup prompt at checkout. Select the next step if you would like to use non-standard packing algorithm. This is more accurate but will also use more server resources and may fail on shared servers. Save the changes when you are done. Thank you. That concludes the Courier Guy WooCommerce tutorial.